We've added a new feature, click and collect, that we would like you to check before we push it out to production. So now on the website, on each product, there's a click and collect button if there's stock available. And if there's no stock available, then there'll be a notify us, but assuming you've turned that on. Now, you click this. Now, if it's in a group stores, it'll give the all the stores in the group and let the customer know that a transfer is required if they're going to select a store that doesn't actually have the stock. So the customer just has to put their email address in. Uh, put mine in and then they click hold, which puts the item on hold in, in the back office. Now it knows that I'm already a customer here so it's asking me to log on. So I'll do that. And then it tells me as a customer that I've uh, got the item on hold, I've got five days to pick it up, um, or the order will be cancelled. So then the customer can see the other orders here as well, if they've got other things sitting on your website. Now, in the back office, the way this works is you'll get a bell. Uh, reduce the size of this. You get a bell on custom orders, just like you do for all other web orders. And now there's actually a bell where this order is, so it's under pending holds. And here's the order that needs to be dealt with. So you can tell when orders aren't dealt with because they haven't actually got these um, holds um, done. So now. I've just got a lot here because I have been doing a lot of demos, but this is the one here. So what you have to do is actually go to the shelf and pick that. And click go, which puts it into the pick list. So that's moves it from just being a hold to being hold and picked or um, the new sort of terminology is reserved. And so that tells the system that, it's, that this this has been dealt with as well. So yeah, we want uh, you to try this on your website and uh, let us know if you find any issues or problems with it before we push it to production.